<laughs> All right, week 12 football, baby. We got ourselves a big game coming up. A lot of people try to downplay the Denver Broncos, talking about, well, they're four and six. This is going to be easy W. Absolutely not. We haven't won a game in Denver since 2009. The last time we won a game there outside of 2009 was the AFC Championship back in the 2005 season. All right, game was played in 2006, but I digress with the goddamn semantics of what the details was. But nonetheless, all right, this is a tough place to play. You got the altitude in the air out there in Denver. You got South Park, Colorado, people out there from South Park flapping head connect. We're not dealing with none of that other stuff. We got to talk about what's going on on the field. We got ourselves a big time injury. We got two injuries on my ad. One, Gilbert is still not playing. Two, two, it is not back either. You saw the severity of what happened on our defensive line this past game against Jacksonville, at least in the first half with two it being gone. So Alu Alu, I'm going to need you to step up. All the other interior linemen, I'm going to need you guys to step up as well. Hargrave, I'm going to need you to do what you did last week. That was get to the quarterback. That's what you were able to do. I believe he had two sacks on the game. I'm going to need to see that as well offensively all right I'm not too worried about the Denver Broncos defense they're not the no fly zone they were in the prior years all right Chris Harris is not the same elite corner he once was he's still playing at a very good level just not at the upper echelon that he was a couple years back so I'm confident with a matchup with Juju against him I'm confident with a matchup with AB against him let's not forget the last time we played them in the regular season you saw AB 16 catches I believe it was 289 yards and two TDs when we came back and beat Brock, Al Brock Osweiler and them boys but nonetheless, we got to be able to protect Ben. Why? Because you got two beasts coming off the edge. One in Bradley Chubb, young gun, and then two in freaking Von Miller. And we got an injury having Gilbert not be out there. Filer, he's coming in with an injured pectoral. Now, we don't know if he's going to play or not. They're saying he's questionable if he doesn't play. We got a rookie tackle who's coming in to try to block Von Miller. So what I need to see is a whole lot of packages in which we have an extra tight end there and we double team this beast who's a game wrecker in Von Miller because he will change the game if we cannot block him. Now, regarding their defense, they're not that great against the run. I believe they give up about like 125 yards on the ground. So, Connor, I'm going to need to see production. You had a bad game last week. You got to get it out of your head. All right? You got to have Alzheimer's, dementia. Don't remember what happened last week. It's time to pick up from where you left off the week prior. Matter of fact, don't even remember none of that. The season is zero and zero. All right? Now, when it comes to playing on the road, the Pittsburgh Steelers, I believe it's the last 16 games. We are 14, one and one or 15, one and one. Something like that. It's something ridiculous, but this season particularly, we are undefeated on the road. We have not lost on the road. I'd like to see that continue. All right, because you know when you go into these hostile environments, the crowd plays a factor. A lot, the weather plays a factor. Well, then again, weather affects everywhere that you're at. But nonetheless, you got to go in there and play disciplined football. We cannot turn the football over. Last week, we saw Big Ben throw three interceptions. We can't have that happen. On top of that, we cannot start slow. We have to play our brand of football, and we cannot come out here and start slow. We see what we've been able to do throughout the entire season. That is making adjustments when we have to make them. But we have to come out firing, especially when we're playing on the road. We can't have a repeat of what happened last week because you're not always going to get comebacks like that week in and week out. This Denver team is way better than what their record shows. Case Keenum has showed he has poise when he's playing in the pocket. Might I add Phillip Lindsay coming out of that backfield? He got some patience when he got the ball because when he sees the whole open, he hits it, and he's got that breakaway speed to get into the end zone. You saw it last week against um, the Chargers when they played there. All right, so we got to be able to play disciplined football. Our defense got to make tackles. We cannot continue to have this arm tackling dance going on. You saw last week we could not bring Fournette down in the first half. Why? Because our defensive line wasn't getting the penetration that we needed, and on top of that, the linebackers was trying to make arm tackles. When the secondary stepped down, we was making arm tackles. Can't do that against Phillip Lindsay. Can't do that against Royce Freeman. Can't do that against Devontae Brooks. Now, if he's even in the game. They got a running back by committee over there, but those guys can break tackles. When they get into short yarded situations, I saw this on a third and short, um, second and short. They failed to convert because of their play calling. We got to take advantage of that. Defensively for us, at least on our D-line, like I said, we got to get our penetration. But our linebackers, also T.J. Watt as well, whatever the hell you want to call him, a flex D-end linebacker, whatever the case is, I'm going to need some more sacks from you. We need to get disruptive on the defensive side because we're leading the league in sacks. But when it comes to takeaways and taking the football outside of their hands, we're not doing it as great as I would like to see. Our turnover differential, I believe we're still in the negative. Let's try to change that. We got to get our hands on the football, take it away, and put our offense in a 
a better position going down the stretch because we understand we have one of the higher explosive offenses in the league. Our defense is starting to get it together. We're holding people to less yardage. We're holding people to less points. We're, take, we're, we're sacking the quarterback, but we got to get our takeaways up if we want to be able to contend with these high-powered offenses with the Saints of the world, with the Chiefs of the world, if we see them in the, uh, um, the, the postseason and all that other stuff. So we got to make sure we take the ball out of their hands. But nonetheless, this particular game, run the football and protect Ben will be able to win this game. Bottom line. But p protecting Ben is imperative. If we block for this man, I have no, no sort of, of concern about him being able to throw the ball to the receivers out there or handing the ball to Connor and being able to run the football. The number one concern this particular game, block Please block Vlon Miller. Please block uh, Bradley Chubb. If we can do that, we win the game. And on special teams, Boswell, you've been doing well since I believe he missed a couple of kicks early in the season. He's been somewhat perfect up until this point. A couple of extra points here and there. But outside of that, special teams been doing their job. We just cannot have any sort of, you know, fumbling the football if it's a punt return, kick return, whatever the case is. And I'd like to see another big play. Possibly a block kick. Some, uh, 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 something along those lines. Block kick, block punt. Something along those those lines but we're going on the road we're playing in a hostile environment there's altitude so people trying to get hydrated and breathing all that other stuff is going to play a factor but we got to play disciplined football because the last memory i have of playing in denver fitzgerald Toussaint football on the ground afc divisional round peyton manning rise into the sunset holding a super bowl trophy although it wasn't against the pittsburgh steelers it's what led to it it was also a conduit in that sort of journey so i don't want to have a situation where we go out to denver and we don't come back with the w let's keep the train rolling i believe we won six consecutive games let's get this to seven it's our third straight year winning six games in a row at the least so we got to make sure we keep the train rolling keeping our momentum so we can show people in the AFC hey stop talking about the Chiefs hey stop talking about the Patriots it's about time you start giving attention to the Pittsburgh Steelers everybody get your arm up in here because we need a big time win tomorrow afternoon everybody gonna see this game and it's about time we show the world that we the Pittsburgh Steelers we know football Steelers on three win on six one two Two, three Steelers, four, five, six win, baby. Here we go. Big time win tomorrow afternoon. I believe it's 425 or 405, whatever the case is. We're going out. Haunting, we're hunting for horses and we're going to put their dicks in the dirt.